To save tables and charts that you've customized, you can create an UNCTAD stat account or log into an existing one by clicking on the sign in icon. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials and click sign in. Once I've logged in, a new folder called My Reports now shows up in the data center. You can make a custom group of items by navigating to the item selection page for a dimension and clicking on the custom groups icon. Here, I'm just deselecting the default items so I can make my own selections. There are two options for custom groups, compound and calculated. A compound group lets you select a group of items and decide on returning the total, average, maximum, or minimum. Let's say I wanted my group to show the average value for these five countries. I selected the average option and selected my countries. You can also choose a name for your group. Now that I've saved the group, it becomes automatically selected. A calculated group lets you type more complex formulas than a compound group. There's no need to select the items that you're including. You can just click on them to add them to the formula. For this example, I'm going to add the values for Albania and Algeria and subtract the values for Argentina. Now I'm going to click Save and you can see the new calculated group in the custom groups list. Navigating back to the table, we now have a table with our two groups as rows. Let's save the table we just created by clicking on the Save Report icon. Here you can give your report a name and click Save to add it to the My Reports folder. Charts can also be saved to My Reports in the same way. Here I'm just going to give this chart a name and click Save. Now when I go back to My Reports, the table and the chart that I saved are all there. A profile will automatically apply a selection of items to any table you open. Using the same example group of countries from our compound group, I'm going to select these countries, open the Actions drop-down menu, and click Save Current Selection as Profile. Here you can add a name and a description to your profile, choose whether to activate the profile right away, and click Save. Our profile is now activated. The table we were using before now has the five countries selected as rows. If we go to a different table that also has the dimensions that we selected from, that table will have the same selections. This different table here also includes economy as a dimension, so we get the same five countries as rows. Same with this next table. Now that our profile is activated, the profile-related actions in the drop-down menu are selectable. Here, you can select a profile to activate it or deactivate it, deactivate all currently activated profiles, or select one to delete. I just deactivated our profile for now. In the drop-down menu, the profile is no longer selected. Now, navigating to a different table will give you the default item selection again, instead of the five countries that we selected in our profile.